decades, David Carter has overseen a commercial fishing venture based in Perth that supplies premium seafood to the world. It just it's glistening, glistening with oil. The 63-year-old operates a fleet of 15 vessels, harvesting prawns and fish, including toothfish, highly prized by chefs worldwide for its white flesh and smooth texture. You have to think that this fish is an extraordinary fish. The culinary qualities of this have made it really the, the gold standard in fish. Not only does the company harvest the fish sustainably from southern oceans, David has invested heavily in technology to reduce waste. We've got all of these different shapes come off a natural fillet, but this machine has allowed us to produce them all at the same weight. He's also using blockchain to ensure traceability by consumers using a QR code. David is at the helm of a prosperous fishing company now, after working his way up from an early start as a deckhand. I haven't done that for a while now, but that's kind of a happy place. There's, there's something really deeply honest about a hard physical day's work on a boat and the sleep that follows. His fleet spends long weeks at sea in winter months, braving storms and giant swirls. The boats themselves are at sea for uh, anything up to 120 days. These are long, arduous trips in the middle of a southern winter in some of the most extraordinary uh, weather conditions on the planet. We're fishing down to a depth as, as deep as 2,000 metres. Toothfish stocks had dwindled last century due to overfishing, but David has made it his business to change that. The early part of this fishery was notorious for the interest it attracted from illegal fishermen. Austral's sustainable approach to fishing is backed by an enormous investment in marine research. Independent survey work, which we've done consistently now for over 20 years. There's a, an extensive tag and release program, and there's in the order of 40,000 tag fish swimming around in that part of the world. Um, an extensive uh, international collaboration on science, looking at stock assessment. Travelling so far offshore burns fossil fuel, leaving a carbon footprint. We burn about 9 million litres of diesel a year. That's the majority of our emissions, but in total, we're about a 40,000 tonne a year uh, CO2 emitter. So, Austral is also helping to reduce its carbon footprint by planting trees through a native regeneration project north of Perth. The plantings are all natives. They're all from seed that are collected in, the, in that environment. The land that we're recovering is really broken agricultural land. So it's kind of the win-win for us. We get to clean up the mess we made with burning all the diesel. The funds we use to buy credits goes into recreating ecosystems uh, at scale in um, an important part of West Australia. However, as the company faced new export challenges during the global pandemic, David sought advice from Australia's International Trade Promotion and Investment Agency, Austrade. When COVID shut down, global restaurant trade, restaurant business dropped dead overnight. Fish prices dropped as restaurant consumption really dried up, and that was global. So our main customers were in the US and in China. Through Austrade's $72 million agribusiness expansion initiative, Experts across the globe help producers widen their export footprint. We really want to emphasize your Austria's contribution as a good corporate citizen. Cool. Having people on the ground giving us a broader perspective of, of what actually is going on is quite handy. We provide insight and also we make introductions for uh, our Australian businesses to new markets by offering uh, market intelligence like consumer change, changes in consumer preferences, and also by facilitating introductions to new opportunities and new business partners. 
South Korea is a market where we're not particularly well connected. Uh, we think there's an opportunity there. Certainly the rest of Southeast Asia, the Austrade machine, given its geographical spread and insights, can be really handy in opening doors. This is our beautiful baby. Although yeah. Austral is already a carbon neutral producer, David has plans to do more. We know we have to stop using diesel. And last year we took delivery of a Norwegian designed and built hybrid electric fishing vessel. She cost us in the order of $50 million. We've been really happy with the fuel savings that we're seeing there and that's the future. Thank <laughs> you.